Recently, we had a break on the Tempe Town Lake Dam. One of the four dam bladders that uh, performed the dam uh, actually ruptured and uh, it has drained the lake. Um, as a result of that, uh, what we need to do is to replace that and each of the bladders. Since the lake has been drained by, as a result of this accident, we can get the job done a lot more quickly. It also gives us the opportunity to do some maintenance work within the lake itself where we need to do a little bit of grading and clean up and inspect bridge piers and the like. So fortunately we're in the position where we're just about to start construction on, on those dam replacements and uh, in fact since the dam has broken uh, we're in the process of taking, undertaking that construction already. This is a citywide effort. There is not a department in our city that is not sending representatives to work on this process. Our streets team are coming together to work on the bottom of the lake. Our public safety people are here, both police and fire. Um, a huge response when this happened and they continue to help us uh, with this. We actually have 24-hour security patrolling the lake now, um, and we've posted no trespassing signs um, around different accesses to the lake. Um, and the biggest part of that is for uh, people's safety. The bottom is soft, it's muddy, uh, there's objects down there that, could, that, that you could get hurt on. Things could be sticking out of the ground and not see it. Uh, obviously the ground's un uneven. Um, so there's some unseen hazards and some situations that you probably wouldn't want to be in. And we're going to be in the bottom of the lake picking up uh, debris such as uh, traffic cones, uh, traffic signs, uh, washed in debris such as tree limbs and stuff like that. And we'll actually be moving around some of the dirt that's been shifted uh, over the course of the existence of the lake. So we're gonna be trying to level out the lake a little bit. But for anybody who's lost anything and would like to you know, give us the information, they can call 480-350-8229. Uh, that's the street uh, office phone number. Or they can email me directly, uh, D-E-N-I-S-E underscore B-R-E-W-E-R at Tempe.gov. I think right now the uh, testing of water quality is probably a non-issue. And uh, we've now shifted uh, to uh, managing, picking up fish, uh, primarily to obviously control odors, uh, to make sure we don't get a lot of flies uh, and also to try to stop uh, birds from coming in which may interfere with our neighbors to the west, the uh, Sky Harbor Airport. The, uh, the other major thing we'll be doing too is now that we have obviously stagnant water and pooled water, mosquitoes is, is an issue. It's something we're going to have to really be careful of and watch. So we are going to in start increasing our monitoring next week and uh, we will probably begin putting down in some of the pools that look like they're not drying out very quickly, we'll begin putting down some larvicides uh, to make sure we don't breed any mosquitoes. Tempe Town Lake is still open. The only part of the lake that isn't open, unfortunately, is the water area, which we've had to let go. Um, but what that means is you can still bike, you can still jog, you can still uh, host your event in Tempe Beach Park. And that's one of the things we're trying to emphasize. If your mode of fitness was boating, whether it's dragon boat paddling, outrigger paddling, or rowing, sailing, doesn't matter. We want you to continue to have an opportunity to come down and do some fitness and not suddenly stay away for, from the lake for 10 or 12 or 14 weeks, however long it takes. Our kayaking programs, we've done something different in that our kids in kayaks, we've transferred over to Kiwanis Lake Park. So that class is gonna continue to run over there. And then we're gonna do one of our adult paddling fitness classes over there. And then we're gonna load up a trailer and take our kayaks out to uh, either Lake Pleasant or Lake Swarrow and do our final classes out at the big lake. Even though there's no water in the lake, the boating coordinator's been pretty busy getting sort of the next phase of the classes set up. 
and uh, I think we're going to come out pretty well on this whole process. It's not an entirely new process. We've never had the lake empty out before, but we've certainly had flows through. So this will be a, a, a kind of a, a new learning lesson to how quickly it comes back. It will be similar in, in to our approach as far as monitoring and managing it. When, it. when it does come back, it should follow the same paths as it has before. But we expect things to come back and, and start growing and, and developing like they did the last time. Uh, and most people don't realize we really didn't stock all these fish in here. We've stocked some, but they were all for biological management of pests. Uh, the other fish, the bass, and the shad and, and uh, the catfish weren't stocked. Those all came in with, with the source waters to Tempe Town Lake. And we expect that'll, that'll happen all over again when we refill. For people that are interested in doing treasure hunting um, and maybe helping out with the process, uh, it, it is a situation of safety concerns for everybody. Uh, we're skilled at going into areas where you have to have personal protective devices and stuff so that we asked uh, the residents just to let us do this and for the scavenger hunters and the tre treasure hunters please just allow us to do our job and, and let us let us be the ones in the bottom of the lake taking care of it. The dam break is not good news. It's not a fortunate thing but in the eye of, in the, uh, with the idea of making lemonade out of lemons, it will allow us to accelerate construction, would reduce the cost of the replacement of the dams a little bit, and also allows us to do some maintenance within the lake itself. It is a once in a lifetime event. Um, I've never experienced anything like this, and uh, it's an interesting situation for us to be in, uh, but our streets crews will get in and we'll do the cleanup and we'll get the lake filled back up and go forward with it. People seem to really love Tempe Town Lake in all of its forms. They, this has become such a part of our community that people want to be part of whatever is happening and we are working our fastest to get this lake back up and put back together, hopefully by November 1st. As soon as this occurred, it was absolutely amazing how quickly people were on top of it, knew exactly what to do, knew what to look for, and, and took care of it. Um, we have had everything from our engineers to our public safety personnel to our media staff that have known exactly what to do, informed the public, uh, we're on top of everything, and the response that we've had from the city staff and the city council has been nothing short of extraordinary.